I always tell the truth. And I told you the truth. Listen, Karl Marx born 5th May 1880 in Germany, died on 14th March 1883 in London, was a German philosopher, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, critic of political economy, and socialist or revolutionary. Karl Marx said, keep people from their history and they are easily controlled exactly 1100 and and odd days i've been non-stop speaking only on this part and when i checked today's karl marx this quote i was shocked that what i said is coming true keep people away from the history and they are easily controlled keep people away from their family Keep the boy away from the girl and the girl away from the boy till they lose all that interest in their love. And you can easily control them. Hence my insistence. Otherwise, why such a big drama of an invading army like the leaders coming to ask for oaths? Why such a big drama? I am not able to understand. If they have done good job, digital voting is enough for people to vote from their houses. If people can pay even for vegetables, fruits or anything through the digital transfer, a digital voting is, is needed. There is no need for such a big drama. They have disconnected you from your family. Keep people from their history. Keep people from their family. Keep people away from their joint family and the family tree. And they are easily controlled. All the children ran to the cities. And till the old age, at the age of 60 or so, they couldn't even have one proper house. They have to go back to the village to fight for a part of their families property that has become the situation and the family property is broken into pieces keep people away from their history Karl Marx said yes you have kept them away otherwise you keep you asked the, the girl child who is getting married to fight with the husband to break away from the family and stay in a nucleus family disconnected the child is born or when the girl is pregnant she starts getting frightened. She goes to a stranger's hos stranger hospital where they loot and she lives in pain. When the child is born, there is nobody to teach history, is Sanskriti. Nobody to give love. He doesn't know the love of the grandmother and grandfather and the uncle and the auntie. It is washed like an ocean that love if any child gets that kind of a love that growth is so powerful he will grow with love and he'll trans transform the whole world with love love means not just love power i'm talking love means utilizing the total energy of his body with a massive of happiness spreading he will not sleep without touching any part of the body the last drop of talent has been removed because the child who has been brought up in a joint family understands such a love he knows if any part of that body means your physical body your internal body your spiritual body your mental and connecting to your land and to the nature is all he has to make sure it has been respected it is to be loud and when such thing happens he knows the only thing only one person who can destroy the steel it is his own rust he knows only thing to destroy the family is if the family members are not loved in a joint family no girl misses her love she's got so many cousin brothers so many uncles so many grandparents and their friends no boy will 
go out without understanding. She, he has got so many cousins, sisters. Love is not, they think of sex like the present day generation and you refuse to give them that sexual intimacy and they would tell them if you wanted to get out of your sickness cycle you have to love you have to marry and marriage also two are different in a small nucleus family destroyed they control you the doctors control you when you're in a nucleus family the leaders control you in a nucleus family you are living in pain the child is born with pain not with love my grandmother was telling her 16th baby came out when he was climbing the tree the baby came <laughs> climbing the tree now children of fear when the child is born the child reaches the school from whom he will learn he will learn from the street people the tuition wallas it company children were handed over to a maid servant to take care when their husband and wife both goes to a job and then one day she got the report that the maid servant has drugged the child and taken him to the street and begging in the street drugged <laughs> that is the institution master's job but a child who is grown in the house who is not disconnected from the history from the family learns from the elder brother elder sister from the aunties uncles grandfather the whole generation is only ideas flowing with only love and they will never say it was mathematics or science it is mathematics for fun or science for fun no no it has become a way of life they don't think but they have to go for yoga classes or karate classes because they look and they will laugh at the yoga classes because they can bend the body and twist the body in any style in a joint family because they climb the tree jump into the pond varieties of asanas comes they are so powerful they throw one punch or one kick them Opposing members can die. There is no karate or don't it. They have discussed. Karl Marx said, keep people from the history. All these company heads, factory heads, political leaders, religious heads, they are all students. They are all followers of Karl Marx, I think so. And they are easily controlled. Karl Marx said, keep people away from history. History means keep away from their Sanskrit, keep away from their love. Keep away. When you keep them away from their family, it's the love which is disconnected. Sanskrit is disconnected. You are living in a psychological problem in a mental hospital. They say, Familiarity breeds contempt. Continuously husband looking at the wife, wife looking, they go mad. <laughs> but in a joint family, husbands, brothers, husbands, sisters, wives, sisters, wife, brother, all have got no difference. It is only love. Nobody says, you touch me here, you touch me there. No, 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 no. Whether it's good touch or bad touch, there is no good and bad. Everything is a way of life in the house it is not discriminated they know the value of this and that they don't discriminate in this and that that is what zen has taught them this and that.